Hi guys, this occurrence challenge is called Counting Valleys. Here we have a guy called Gary and he's an avid hiker. In this challenge, we're going to receive two parameters and they're going to be an integer n for the number of steps that Gary has taken and a string to describe his path. So they give you an example here. The string has two possible characters, d and u. Whenever we see d, it refers to the steps that he has taken down. And whenever we see u, it refers to the steps that he has taken up. So when we talk about up and down, we are talking about his altitude. Because he's hiking and he's going through mountains and valleys, we have to figure out the altitude to determine how many valleys he has traversed. And that is what we need to return. So our task here is to complete the counting valleys function and return an integer that denotes the number of valleys that he has traversed. So there is one important bit of information that we need to keep in mind. And it's what I'm highlighting here. It says a valley is a sequence of consecutive steps below sea level starting with a step down from sea level. So I'm going to make this a bit clearer to you now. And let's say this is our string parameter. It's going to be like this. So because a string is an array of characters, we can treat it as an array. So what we are going to do is create a tracker. This tracker is going to be of int type. It's going to be an integer. And we're going to set it to zero at the beginning. Zero refers to sea level, meaning he's not up, he's not down. He's simply at sea level. And anytime we encounter the character D in the array, we are going to decrement or decrease that value by one. So our altitude is going to switch from zero to negative one. Then if we encounter D again, we're going to decrease by one once again. So we'll reach negative two. Then we see D again, we decrease one more time by one. And when we see up, we increment by one. Then we see up again and we keep increasing that value until we reach back C level. And so long as we see U, we will keep increasing that value by one. Finally here, we decrease by one once again. So you get the logic here. Whenever we see D, we decrease our tracker by one. Whenever we see U, we increase our tracker by one. So this is what I'm explaining here. We track the altitude and count how many times he was at sea level and then went down in a valley. So the reason why I told you guys to pay attention to this here, when I said that a valley start with a step down from sea level is because we need to count how many times the character in our array was D and the tracker was negative one, meaning that he was previously at sea level and then he went down. So that is what we are doing here in our algorithm. I have this function, int counting values, and two parameters. So these are already given. I'm just going to add an ampersand to both of them so that they can get passed by reference. And here I have my tracker int variable. This is going to correspond to the altitude. And then I have this valley integer. Now this integer variable is going to be used to count how many valleys Gary has traversed. I'll then move through the characters inside my string. And because the string is a char array, I can use this for loop here. So I will say for every character inside my string, and I'm calling every character step, I'm going to verify is that step D. If it's D, then I'm going to decrement this value here. Otherwise, if the character at that iteration is U, I'm going to increment my tracker. And to capture if it has gone down in a valley, I need to have this condition here. If the altitude is negative one, and the step is D, it means he was previously at sea level and then went down, and therefore he has just entered a valley. So I'm increasing my valley here by one, and when I'm done, I'm returning my valley. So you might wonder why we never use that variable. Technically, I could use it inside my for loop, but I chose this style of looping through the string. So let's go ahead and submit this code right away. And we have just passed all the test cases. So that's it guys for this challenge. If you like my solution, please subscribe to this channel, turn on your notifications, and I'll catch you next time.